what am I trying to do right now? What do I want? What do I need? It's time. It's finally time. Hello and welcome to a brand new adventure on Ark Survival Evolved. I'm Fozzie the Great, and this is going to be a good one. Uh, this is what I'm calling my Ark Full Clear. We're going to do all the official maps beginning from end. From beginning to end. And, uh... We're gonna do a full clear of them. That means all the gamma bosses, all the beta bosses, all the alpha bosses. So, uh, we're gonna do that on the island, on Scorched Earth, Aberration, Extinction, and finally Genesis Part 1. And maybe by the time we're done with this series, because I imagine getting all the way through all of that is going to take us a while. But maybe by the time we're done with all of that, Genesis Part 2 will be uh, out and ready for us to go take a romp on. So, uh, that's the plan. We are playing with a few modified settings here, but no boosted stats. So none of my stats are boosted. None of my dino stats are boosted. Um, it's all, as far as that, as far as that goes, it's all vanilla. We are playing single player on uh, max difficulty. So, Dino's max out at 120. Um, we have tame speed up by three times. We have uh, three times harvest. Um, our breeding, everything to do with breeding, egg hatching speed, mating interval, mature speed. All that is turned way up. Um, and I've got my XP gain at times three. So that's all basically just to speed things along so I can keep putting out consistent content that isn't just entirely repetitive. Um, we are running a few mods. And, uh, 12 to be exact. And, again, that's pretty much to make, uh, to make life just a little bit easier, a little bit faster. But not necessarily make the game easier. The difficulty is still there. Uh, but the mods we are running, first of all, we've got super structures. Superstructures is the spiritual successor to S+. Plus. This is SS. Now, S+, Plus is wonderful. We all love it. It's amazing. But it is no longer being updated. So, Superstructures, SS, is exactly what S+, Plus was but is being currently being updated. So we're playing with that for the first time. Um, we're using better reusables. So I've got uh, reusable bola, reusable grappling hooks, stuff like that. Um, just because I hate ca having to make stacks of those things. Um, the awesome spyglass. The also spyglass is fantastic. It's a little too fantastic. So once we get one made and get access to the options for it, we're going to turn a few of those off because again, it's it, it can be a little too good. 
Um, but uh, mo mostly the outline, uh, the outlining of all the all, of every living thing on the map. That's a little bit OP in my mind, so we're gonna turn that off. Um, but we've got that mainly so we can check out the stats of different wild dinos as far as breeding goes. Uh, the tombstone mod we are using so we can get all of our stuff back when we die. Can I make, uh, Ola yet? No, let's kill one of these dodos. Um, because I I don't think uh having whole episodes of me trying to recover a body is very interesting. You might disagree. Uh, you might think that could be fun and want me to turn off the tombstone mod. And if so, then leave a comment. And depending on how many people want me to turn it off, I might just do that. I don't have any armor yet. I just got some hide. Uh. So yeah, if, if you think the tombstone mod is a little bit too much and you actually want me to want to see me go recover my bodies when I die. Not if I die, but when I die, because it is inevitable in this game. Then let me know, and I might turn it off. I'm using Best Eggs. Best Eggs is a really cool mod that allows me to put the best stats on an egg before it hatches from any of its ancestors in the area. Not just any dino, not just any of the same species in the area, but any of, the, of its ancestors. So it has to be in the same family line. Uh, but again, that just allows me to skip a lot of... A lot of the breeding monotony. Can I make Bola yet? Where's Bola? No, not yet. Need to be level nine, level eight. Um. So I'm using best eggs just to save a bunch of time. Uh, basically on off-screen things, not on-screen things. Just stuff I'm gonna be doing off-screen, so I can get back to making more videos. Uh. Easy Chibi. Easy Chibi is a neat mod that gives you a little food bowl where you can buy chibis using exceptional kibble. I think it takes three exceptional kibble to make one chibi. And I don't think you get to choose what chibi you make. It's just randomized like it is as far as putting them in the first place. But we're running that because... I don't know when the next event is that's going to have chibis and we're going to we we're probably going to want those extra five levels at some point. So I'm running that just so we can get a chibi that we can level up. Oh, that pago. Hey, what'd you steal? My raw meat, dude. Come back here. Come back. Not cool. What a jerk. Um, so yeah, easy chibi. That's what that is. I just leveled up so I can get Ebola. Um, still putting it in weight. Platforms plus, uh, platforms plus adds a whole bunch of building options to platforms. It seems really cool. I've never played with it before. I would like to check it out, but I don't know if we're really going to get around to it until probably Aberration. Um, that's where I imagine I'll be building a lot of platforms. So we might not see much of that until quite a ways into the series. 
Um, ultra stacks. Ultra stacks allows me to stack items up to much larger, uh, much larger sums. And it also decreases the weight. So I can just carry a lot more with ultra stacks. I need that bola. Did I make a bola? I did not make a bola. Let's make a bola. Uh, classic flyers. Classic flyers is a mod that allows you to level flyers the way you could. I guess back when the game started. Um, I wasn't around at that time. But I guess you used to be able to uh, level their movement speed. Which makes them really stupidly fast. So that's cool. But the main reason I use classic flyers, the hands down, the number one reason I use it. It's not because of the movement speed, which is really cool. But it allows my flyers to walk backwards. Yeah. Which is super helpful. I don't know if you've ever tried organizing your dinos and you accidentally overstepped where you were going with your flyer or didn't quite make the turn. It is extremely, extremely frustrating because they can't back up. So you've got to walk all the way back around and get lined up again to get back into that spot. But with classic flyers, you can just back it up. I love it. I love it. It's amazing. I wonder what's going to be in this drop. It's only a white drop, but I'm only level nine, so it could be super useful. Um, the Dino Colorizer, uh, another mod I've never played with, but uh, I'm excited to check out. That lets us, uh, basically paint the different regions of a dino. So we can have them any color we want. I think it takes dyes to use. Not entirely sure. Like I said, I've never played with it before, but we will get around to it. And it should be a lot of fun to play with. We'll have some really funky looking dinos. Uh, the Boar Water Kit. This is one of my favorite mods. Just because I hate, hate having plumbing running all over the place. I can't stand it. I know S Plus and then uh, probably SS as well allow you to hide the pipes after the they're all set up but man it's just a massive pain especially when you find a really cool base spot but there's no water around and you have to run just miles of pipes just to get water up there no longer no more with the bore kit because that allows you to put an intake straight into the ground uh, some of you may feel like that's a little cheating, and I don't care. I love it. I love it. I'm not building massive networks of plumbing. That's not what I'm here to do. Um, so we're using that. The last mod we've got is Auto Ingrams. Uh, I tried using Unlock Ingrams at first. The mod not the option uh, and it didn't work for me for some reason so I had to switch to auto Ingrams and that seems to be working just fine now so we've got that going um, I just I want the Ingrams to unlock as we go I don't want my screen to be flooded with all the Ingram messages uh, that's that's really irritating. Let's check out what's in this drop. Might be something useful. So, yeah, auto Ingrams. Oh, here we go. It's just resources, but hey, it's all stuff I can use. 
Um, Auto Ingrams is just another one that's really helpful. Helpful. There's an Iguanodon over there. Do I want to try to tame the Iguanodon? They're really nice early level. Can can I Ola an Iguanodon? What level is it? We didn't try. We would need to make a club or two. Um, maybe a slingshot. Probably put him in a trap. Actually, put him in a wood trap. See what level he is. They're not aggressive, so I can just go right up to him and look. 68. Er. Not terrible. Not terrible for a first tame. Um. But yeah, that's the plan. That's that's what settings were running. That's uh what mods were running. I think we are going to try to grab most of the uh, map exclusives as we go along. But I'm I I, I don't think I'm going to allow myself to use most of my dinos until we get to extinction but most of my transferred dinos um and then when we get to extinction it's all hands aboard so until then we're gonna have to rebuild armies at the beginning of each map Because otherwise, we'll just be stomping through every map after this one, right? We're just going to get a whole bunch of awesome stuff and go trouncing through it. At least, uh... At least with Scorched Earth, anyway. What am I trying to do right now? What do I want? What do I need? I need to make myself a few things, I suppose. I've got three levels. Let's get that up to 200 let's start putting some into health um i'm level 12 what level is the forge level 20 i'm not even anywhere near that so what can we make whoa way too far i can make wooden structures so i can make myself a little tiny hut the bow and arrow. A bed would probably be smart. Mortar and pestle. So let's make a uh, foundation real quick. We're going to go with the SS. We're going to go with a double foundation. No. Yeah. Where shall we home? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I missed. How did I miss that, Dodo? I think I need more wood. I'm trying to build a huge house for some reason. Let's not do that. Let's wait until we have somewhere we actually want to live because I don't want to live on this beach forever. Um, but we're going to get a foundation set up. We're going to get a little spot set up here. Okay, let's get our base set up right over here. Seems like a good spot. Our base. It's going to be two foundations with some crap on it. Not much of a base. Uh, so I want a mortar and pestle. Definitely. Gonna get one of them. We're probably gonna need a little storage box. Box. Can't make the big one yet. It's still too low level. But we can make this little guy. There we go. Uh, these, I'm gonna drop all these skins. 
all these cosmetics. There we go. Oh, so much better. So much better. Okay. We'll get a bow. Yes, a bow. Some arrows. A rule. Come on. Learn how to spell Fozzie. 34 arrows. Couple more levels. And we are ready to go level up some more. Ready to go level up some more. Yay. You know, that's going to have to be it for this episode, actually. Um, well, that went by real quick. So next episode, we're going to run around. We're going to get some levels. Probably get our first tame. That's exciting. Wonder what it's gonna be. Maybe one of these turtles. Oh. And, um, yeah, we'll see how far we can progress. Uh, if you like this video or if you're excited for this series, be sure to leave me a like, subscribe, ring that bell so you know when the next episode comes out. Uh, you know, if you're, let me know how excited you are in the comments. I'm super excited for this series, so I can't wait to see what goes down. Um, I've never done a full clear of any of these maps. Not legit, anyway, so, I, I again, I'm really excited for this series, because it's going to be a lot of firsts for me. Um, or a lot of, a lot of sheer frustration, <laughs> which is very possible with this game. Anyway, I'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for, uh, enjoying what I'm putting out here. I appreciate it greatly. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.